Welcome to BTS Spins of Apps. Disclaimer, it's the complete work of fan fiction. The park was alive with laughter and chatter of children playing on the swings and slides. Amidst the laughter and joyous cries, when sat alone on a bench, her gaze fixed on the children playing. She was deep in her thoughts, gaze fixed on her daughter, who was laughing and playing with the other kids. Mom, a little girl, yelled on a baby voice as she ran towards Wen, a beautiful smile on her lips, which also let a smile appear on Wen's face too, as she made up grabbing hands and ran in her mother's arms and went all her. Ah, uh, is the princess having fun? She nods with a smile. I love Park's mommy, Wen hummed in response. Can we come to Park every day? Wen let out a chuckle. We can, but mommy have work, you know, so weekend is the best time to have a quality with mommy and princess time. What you say, isn't it? When it tickles her as she starts laughing. Yep, I love spending time with mommy. She tripped happily and when just shakes her head. But mama, can we come park more than once? You know, Nani always take me parks whenever I told her one race a bro. And here someone was saying she just came to park once in a week when nurse her eyes and Abba tried to hide behind her tiny hands. It was Nani and our secret. You were not supposed to know, she murmured in a muffled voice as her hands were still on her face. When chuckled, shaking her head in disbelief. Oops, in that case, I'll pretend I didn't hear it. What do you say? Her face lit up as she hugs one tightly, immediately lifting her mood as one laughs with her and picks her to leave. Mama, one last thing, please, when she shakes her head. It's getting late, princess. Come on, we will come back again. If that's what you want. Oh my god, really? Why not? And she wrapped her tiny arms around her mother's neck again and kissed her cheeks. You're the best mommy in the world, she announced, making her mother to smile wholeheartedly. And you remember my best daughter? Mom, can we go to Aunt Anaya's house when raise a paw? But could you start winning? She can't say no to her little princess. Mama, yes, Francis. I didn't spoke for a few seconds, which make Wen, who was packing her bag to face towards her daughter, to know why she didn't stop because she got extremely talkative nature and never stops talking. When Franz, when she saw her four years old with laying her fingers as if she was hesitant or something was bothering her, Wen puts the bag aside and sits beside her in bed as she greased her hair slightly. What happened, baby? Will you want to share something with Mama? Is there something bothering my little princess? Ava, she nods cutely. When will Daddy run back home? One hand, who was raising her hair, stop. Had become heavy and I start turning gloomy. As she took a deep breath and blinks to hold herself to not cry in front of her daughter. Soon, my love, he'll come back soon. Her voice becomes heavy when she says these words as a pool of tears stuck in her throat, but she gave her a faint smile. Really? She smiles and went nods, pushing herself to not cry in front of her. Her tiny mind was not able to understand anything, nor she ever tell her anything till real time came. Is this the presentation you have made after taking a whole week? He yelled, throwing the papers in front of men's face. I'm sorry, sir. I'll make it again. Then we'll bangs his fist on the table. You were not able to make it in a whole week, and now you're saying you'll make it in a day. He chuckles, humorously mocking him. I'm sorry. Shut up, he roared. Just get out of my sight before I lose my temper. Nick immediately gather his stuff and flee from there immediately. Uh-oh. What happened, boss? Then we'll run and turn room. Well, sipping his cold coffee as he placed one in front of Jungkook's says to who sighs but start gulping it. Work as always. They can't even do a single task perfectly. He gets still in anger. Easy bro, he's gone. Jungkook massage his temple. Yeah, right. How are you here? What you mean? Can I visit my best friend? He literally returned back Korea after five years, Jungkook, and right after coming back, you engrossed yourself in work. Jungkook raised a bro. What do you expect me to do other than working? He crosses his arms, giving Jimin his full attention now, and Jimin just shrugs. 
spend some time in front go out to take fresh air you need to relax too before you some innocent employees of yours he indicated towards the last person who went out from his office looking like he's a, a ghost you're not funny bro i didn't even try to be funny jinko called his eyes come on bro i'm going on a date with my girlfriend and you're coming with me jinko glared at him listen first i'm not telling you to third dwelling and i have a really best friend I'll tell Naya to take her too. Technically, it will become the bullet for both of us. What you say? Then you just give him an unimpressed look and continue doing his work. Come on, Jungko, it will be a blind date for you. Thanks, but I'm not interested. Come on, Jung glares at Mali, which immediately makes him shut his mouth. Even his friends were scared from his anger. If you don't have any other topic, you can leave. I mean, half else to change the topic. When is twenty-five years old, working in a company, independent and single mother, loves her daughter more than anything in the world, can do anything for her. Alice, four years old, her mom is a princess, adored by grandparents and once friends. While Jung is twenty-eight years old, a successful businessman, when sex in an astrological father. Have extreme anger issues and extremely persistent and dedicated to his work. Mal and Jungkook was high school best friends, and as the time passed, both of them realized they have feelings for each other and eventually started dating in college. Everything was perfect, like fairy tale, until one day Jungkook decided to leave country. He wanted to do abroad for higher studies. Both of the families were financially stable, but when Jungkook told this plan to Wayne, she was not happy. He tried to make her understand that they can leave together, but Wen denied it immediately because she can't have leave the country. And the major reason was because her parents were left alone, as she was their only child. And that's why they started having many arguments. He was persistent to leave, and even forced her to come with him, but she can't. As she tried to make him understand her point of view, but suddenly Jungkook was acting like a five-year-old stubborn kid who just wanted his favorite candy at any cost. Eventually, these conflicts led them to many arguments, from smaller to bigger. But later, both of them decided to act mature as they left country without her because his future was important for him. Everything was fine, but soon the arguments took another difficult note because as it was a long distance relationship, they were not able to give each other time and eventually ended up breaking each relationship with each other. But what he didn't know was when he was pregnant at the time with his child. He chose his future instead of her, and she chose her parents to never give up on her, no matter even after knowing she was pregnant at such a young age. Moreover, apart from her parents, she never even wanted to go abroad for studying. When please let's go together, she went. When stood her for a second, then moved back her gaze towards her work as she just ignored her annoying presence. Yeah, you're ignoring me now. She almost whispered to Elf, making one rolls her eyes in annoyance. Trust me, Anna. Sometimes you act first, then my dollar. In fact, I'll say she acts more mature than you, ninety percent of the times. When notes as if phrasing her daughter in her mind with a little smile, and then turns her face back towards her work without realizing the girl on the other desk was fuming in anger by now. So I'm worse than a kid. She was fuming, and when had a smile, she nods with a shrug. Oh, wow, great! But you're still coming with me. She smirks, and this time, one looks towards her. When intentionally tried to rile her up, so she won't force her to come with her. But no, it didn't work for Wyan, making her let out a deep sigh. I can't go, Anna. Ava could be alone at home. We can take our princess with us. Jungkook loves her too. Please, let's go out. It's been ages since you last went out. Please. She pouts, winning while showing her puppy doll eyes. When size giving up. Okay, fine. I'll come and stop pleading now. Anna faced it up as she immediately jumped up and took one in a brown, crushing hug. You're my best friend. She tripped while Wan just shakes her head in display. Yeah, guy. Enough buttering. Now do your work. Anna snorts but starts doing her work anyways. Hey, Malaysia princess, how are you doing? Ava giggles when her favorite aunt tickles her. I'm good, auntie. Why didn't came to play with me last weekend? She pouts. 
I'm so sorry, Malte Birdie. I actually have plans with the uncle. She gave her apologetic smile, but see, here I am to take you out with me. I was smiled to cry up. Mama told me, but where are we going? Is Uncle Jimin going to join us too? She inquired, so raising a brow and an ad nods, which make the little girl more happier. I will go and wear your shoes, baby. Okay, Mama. With that, she ran towards her room and when came towards the room with a glass of juice for Anaya. By the way, where are we going? We are ever. My daughter wants to go, she replied, pinching our stubby cheeks, who was sitting beside her, and when was making her wear her shoes and rolled her eyes. You mean the park or Jowland, if that's where my princess wants to go. Our mood zipped up as she hugs Anaya with her tiny hands, making both girls to smile and awe on her cuteness. Trust me, I love you because you give me this little bean bag of happiness when chuckles shuffling her little girl's hurts. Let's go. Two of them were here and our was on cloud nine. Just looking around all right, showed the Jimin and I's boyfriend joined them. I'm so sorry, ladies. I was actually supposed to come with my friend, and that's why I go late. He hugs his girlfriend, greet men, and then wakes up from Anaya, who hugs Jimin tightly. I miss you so much, Jimmy Uncle Jimin pouts with awe. I miss you too, Princess. How have you been, hmm? He nudges north with her making her giggles when she smiles slightly. Sometimes she realizes too how badly ever wants a father figure in her life, though she never tried to date. Although she knows she will never accept someone who won't accept her daughter, her eyes slightly turns glossy as she wiped them immediately. Come and take that right, Mama. When gave a fake smile to her daughter to not make her worried as she moved her gaze where her daughter was pointing and then nods. Of course, baby, if you want to take that ride, then why not? Our speeds and happiness as they move towards their gym and looks back, making them frown. Are you waiting for someone? Yeah, my friend was coming. You guys go ahead. I shall call and say you were his. When and I nods and they move forward. A few minutes fast, they have to take a few rides. Jimmy joined them shortly after a few minutes. Apparently, his friend got struck in traffic and probably will go late. So they just enjoyed the time. I went to God a cotton candy for Ava and that's when she felt someone's dark gaze on her back, which made her felt she was on spot. When someone said, making her eyes wide and, and snap into reality, as she immediately turned her gaze towards person only to see her biggest nightmare, her ex, father of her daughter, standing in front of her. Jungkook, she almost whispers, eyes start turning to me, and he seems as shocked to see her there as he was. He marched towards her with steady steps. Hey, it's been ages, he muttered awkwardly, scratching his back, while one just nods, looking down, or merely hiding her tears. She don't know why was she suddenly feeling so emotional. But she held herself, mustered up courage and smile, faintly to appear completely fine. Yep, long time, she nods. Have you been? Mal looks up towards him and then chuckles, bitterly. Never been better than now. Something twists in Jungkook, but she nods. Mm, I should take my leave, excuse me. With that, she didn't wait for his answer and left for there. Oh my god, I love you, mama. Thank you to give me cotton candy. She tripped, pecking one cheek suddenly, which warmed her heart and immediately forgot the alien incident, which almost made her feel nauseous. Always smile off. Nan noticed change in one small but didn't question. A few minutes passed, eating and giggling when Jimin returned with his friend and apparently, who turns out none other than Jungkook himself. When eyes widened, panic and anxiousness crawling up in her system, she wants to run away from there and hide her Ava somewhere, protectively, and why was she so scared she don't even knew about it. Hi, Jim grins politely to Naya, but his eyes widened when he saw Wan mustering the same look as Wan, and then his gaze went towards a girl sitting in her lap eating a cotton candy, which she saw in her hand earlier. Wan mumbles a small hello, and... Focused towards her daughter, who was now engrossed in eating her favorite candy. Things were getting awkward, and Anaya and Jimin have clearly noticed the tension in atmosphere too. As Jungkook is here to let's take a few more rides, he tripped to see tension. 
I'm sorry, Jimin, I'm not feeling too well. And moreover, it's getting late for Ava and she's surely tired. No, mom, I want to take more rides. When gave her a strong look. Never mind. I think we should leave. Went sudden dizzy and take them off guard. Well, a significant sum when mouth hung open to get a new piece of information. When big Sawa in her arms, who starts crying because she don't want to leave. Come on, Wyan. Few more minutes won't hurt much when she exits. at Maybe some other day. She told Anaya and Ava start crying again. If you stop crying, act like a good girl. Mommy promised she'll take you mall tomorrow to get your favorite jellies. I promise. She was burst in her ear and Ava's eyes shine as she immediately hugged point tightly when give her a friend a apologetic smile before leaving. Ava felt something as off as she also left with Wyan. One made Ava sleep while Anaya was impatiently waiting for her friend to spill the tea. And I made coffee for both of them as they sat outside. I'm waiting when, when you will tell me everything, what is wrong, what suddenly happened. I have noticed your changed behavior and I can read your lies too. So tell me what suddenly happened and that decided to leave after Jacob came there. He's our biological father. As soon as the words were just turned in Anaya's mind, her eyes widened. What? She almost shouted. Both Wan and Naya become friends in her workplace, so she didn't know about Jungkook, nor when I would tell her anything except some major things about her past. That who broke your heart and left you because of his own selfishness. I'll him today itself. She got up in anger, but Wan hauled her to sit back. I have closed our chapter. Long ago, no need to do anything, she murmurs, but Anna can see the pain behind those words in Wan's eyes. Ani, as she hugs her tightly and rubs her back, Wan won't be able to hold back anymore and burst into tears. Jinko was continuous for how long he don't have any idea. So you moved on, so you silly Wan, and even you're married with a happy family and cute daughter, he's some sculpy another. Remembering the incident he saw earlier. After one left from Jala and Jungkook also left from there, making Jimin fawn on his run sudden action. For God's sake, Jungkook, what are you doing? Jimin marched towards him with the phone in his hand. As it was too late, called someone from Jungkook's arms and here he was to pick his daughterly friend. She moved out time. He blubbered. Jimin frowns. Who Jungko? He helped him to leave and Jimin thinks he even saw his glossy eyes. She's happy in her life, he murmured and then chuckles. I was supposed to be happy to see her moving forward and happy in her life, so why? Sobs. Why is it hurting me so badly, Hang? Why I felt something twist inside me when I saw her with her daughter, but she's so pretty just like her mother. A nod formed in his heart. I saw see, but he smiles as if remembering all the incident. He didn't lie when he fell asleep, but when he wake up next, he have a bad headache and some painful memories of last night. Then Jimmy knocks on the door before entering as he handed him a drink to soothe his nerves. He must nudge his temples and gulps the drink in one go. What happened last night and why are you here? His voice was called as if going back to his traditional motionless personality. Jimin rolls his eyes. You were acting like a baby last night. Jungkook, he snorted, making the glare at him, but they got quiet after a few minutes, making Jungkook to frown. What happened now? How you suddenly got quiet? The girl you were talking about yesterday, was it about Wan and her daughter? Jung had stopped. As he gulped the lamp, what have he been speaking last night? He don't even remember half of the things. What are you talking? I don't mention anyone he murmured, but slowly, last night, incidents of what happened after one left from Jerland and how he ended up, all this memory started roaming in his mind, making him let out a sigh. By the look in your face, it seems like you finally remember what I'm talking about. Jim glared him. Was she? He was hesitant for a moment. Was she your way and your ex? Jim didn't reply as Jim expected, but he got his answer. So, she was the lucky girl. Jim drop. Why? He teased. I left her because of my own selfishness, he roared, and it makes Jim to shut his mouth. She's happy in her love, and I'm happy for her, he shrugs, and Jim frowns. 
Wait, about whom you're talking about? Jungu gave him a dumb look. Do you think she has married and have a family with her husband? He chuckles. No, bro, it's no one takes. She's the single mother of her four years old daughter. Jungu, who was moving towards the washroom, has stopped Sal on place as they looked towards him with wide eyes and marched towards him. What did you say? She's not married and a single mother. No, after that. Her daughter is four years old. Something clicks in Jungkook's brain, making him almost stumble in place as he rub his head. Can you exactly clarify? Four years and how many months? Jimin blinks, staring him. Please. Jungkook cut it and Jimin's eyes widened. What was even happening? The guy who never said sorry or please even Ever was saying please to him. Did his best friend hit his head somewhere? But the desperate looking Jungkook was with something in Japan too. As he take out his phone and call his girlfriend. Few minutes while Jimin talked with his girlfriend, Jungkook was staring him with impatient look on his face. As soon as he got the call, Jungkook went him with hundreds of questions. Relax and take a deep breath first. Jungkook, he bought silently and sat down. She's four years old and four months old. As soon as the words just in Jungkook's brain, he slumped in chair. He just sat quietly in chair for a few minutes as if processing everything. She is my daughter. By this ratio we were dating at this time, it means she is my daughter. He whispers and Jimmy fronts, but when he realized what Jungkook said, his own eyes widened. What? He yelled, but at the same time Jungkook was already going outside. Where are you going now? For God's sake, at least just take a bath first. You stinky Jungkook. Jungkook will sit again. As soon as he got ready, he immediately marched outside with Jimin. What you will do after going there? She is my daughter Jimin. I have four years old daughter. Can you imagine one day you got up and found out you have a daughter? Jimin have no answer of his words, so he just stayed quiet. I got it, but don't do something which you regret forever, Jungkook. And I already take promise from me to not tell anything about Ava, which means when I don't want you to be part of a life, Jungkook regrets are they. You leave her, Jungkook. Don't forget that. Jungkook nods, hang as he came out of car and knocks Wen's door. Wen's eyes widened when she saw Jungkook call in the morning in front of her house, which makes her conscious and slightly shivered on her face. Don't shut the door, Wen, he murmured slowly when he saw a panic look in her eyes. We need to talk. I don't think so. Wen grits her teeth. We do, Wen. We need to talk about a lot of things. No, we don't. She shakes her head. Please, let's talk when I want to meet my daughter when I widen. What? You kidding me? Who's your daughter? No need to pretend. I know I was my daughter. That's the same name we decided. If we have a daughter, when felt her eyes slow me, she was breaking down in front of him and that's the least thing she wants. But before she closed door, her little one appeared there. Who's on door, mommy? When panics, but before she do anything, Ava was already outside in front of Jungkook. Little girl fronts, looking around as she saw Jimin standing beside Scar, who waves his hand and then she looked towards Jungkook and smiles. Name is Jay Handsome. She smiles when hold door tightly for some composure, while his eyes turn glossy as he sat in front of her and greased her cheeks. Hey, princess, he murmured, "What's your name?" I'm Ava, she smiled seriously and a silent tear rolled down from Jungkook's eyes as she turned her smile when placed a hand on her mouth, controlling her own sobs. I'm Jungkook Princess. She held his big hand in her tiny ones and Jungkook felt she ran down her spine. On the feeling, some more tear rolled down his eyes before she realized and think Jungkook hugs her tightly. He don't know himself what he was feeling at the moment. Why didn't tell me he finally broke the silence about what? About our daughter Wan. She's not your daughter Jungkook, he sighs. Wasn't I ever deserved to know? I want to ask you something, he nods for her to continue. When did you turn back? A month ago, when chuckles. 
I guess you got your answer, Jungkook. I was already three months pregnant. When we broke up, Jungkook, I tried. She takes a shaky breath. I called you many times, but you never picks up. Probably blocked my number. Tell me, how was I supposed to tell you? He looks down in guilt. I'm sorry. I know I act selfish before, but trust me, I didn't have any option back then. When just laughs humorously. Yeah, I think you should leave now. No, please don't say that when I want you. I want you and I want my life. He pleaded, went stir him and then laughs. Really, Jungkook? Me think I will accept you back. Hmm? I call you to tell you about Ava. Not once, multiple times. But you have already thrown me out of your life. And now here after five years, he suddenly came back. And... And you want to be part of mine and my daughter's life. What a ridiculous joke. I think you should get a little strong on my side right now. Come on, please. Give me a chance. I have changed. Let me prove myself. You had a chance, Jacob. You lost it long ago. And now you don't have any chance. You should leave. No, don't say it. Let me prove myself. One last chance. Sorry, but get out of my house and never show me your face ever again. Please, well, at least let me meet our well. Sometimes when I put tears. She is not your daughter and never will be part of your life. Accept it as soon as possible. I'm ready to change when she said no. You're not ready to change your mind, not even a chance. It took me a long time to heal Jungkook. She confronted Baldy. I won't let you to ruin my masterpiece all over again. But loves you when all was she to still do win my prize. I never said you didn't years ago. Can't say anything guess for now. But about taking you in your life, this is not possible. His eyes losing hope as he got up. I'm leaving, but I have not given up. I promise I'll make you mine again. Why? He murmured to himself before leaving. Thanks for watching everyone.